<laughs> Welcome back to News Guardians on Fox Radio 910. I'm Greg. I'm Chip. Just Chip. Hey! Hey! Welcome back. Well, this, 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 this is the fastest hour in local radio. Will the rep uh, media report this story on Obamacare? A Houston hospital couldn't make payroll because they have not been compensated for three million dollars from the federal government for Medicare services that have been rendered. Will this be reported by mainstream media outlets to protect the already tarnished brand of Obamacare? My guess is probably not, but at some point, I mean, the, the story that nurses and doctors who are part of you know, the healthcare system are getting paid because the federal government is unable to meet its obligations, yeah. either because they're incompetent or they want the funding. I'm guessing probably more incompetence than funding. But well, it's 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 sad here because we're not even we're not even all the way in to the to the middle of the Obamacare takeover, and this stuff is already happening. It's already happening with the limited uh, control that, that that so far has been that has been. Uh, you know, put in place by the because the law doesn't always have, all happen at once. Different parts of the Obamacare law, uh, the Affordable Patient Care Act, uh, phase in, which is designed so you don't really you don't really notice, and and so it happens so slowly, kind of like the stormwater, uh, the stormwater uh, taxes and regulations that Roanoke has just uh, enacted. They don't all phase in all on the same day. It's slowly over three years. So Boil the frog remember. slowly. Um, at any rate, this is not new. Uh, if, if you talk to, to doctors, um, healthcare professionals, and, and I had a good friend whose wife worked um, in the billing department for, for a hospital down in Nashville. And this was something she talked about all the time going back 15, 20 years uh, was how hard it was to get the proper payment for for the services that were that and and not just for medic I mean, for Medicare Medicaid anything that the government was paying for for people that were coming coming there as their patients, it, she said it it sometimes it would take years for them to get the money that they were that they were owed for having treated these patients. Well, the the CEO of the hospital where this is taking place, he has a quote. I understand that our employees have children and house payment bills. Not getting paid is wow, is what he said uh, about that. But the Texas Medical Association, presumably the state organization that, that oversees all this, says they are familiar with complaints like this one regarding the Medicare payment facilitator. And a representative from that group told this reporter that uh, smaller community hospitals like this are in similar situations. So it's not just this one hospital that's having no. this. But you would think that the media, who loves to take stories about how you know poor people are being messed over by the man, might have a problem with the fact that nurses and salt of the earth people who are working for the common good in the healthcare profession aren't getting paid. Yeah, it's not just rich, rich doctors that aren't getting yeah, it's paid. Yes, nurses. It's, and it's, it's, the, it's the nurses, the nurse practitioners, and the, the technicians, and the people who aren't making a whole lot of money, that may be only making 12 to $15 an hour, uh, you know, after all of the training, and, and for being in, in, in direct connection and control of important parts of your healthcare. So, so we'll look and see if they actually talk about that story.